Air transportation is an important aspect of economic development. It represents one of the yardsticks for gauging development in any country. The aviation industry all over the world is credited for a significant influence in terms of development, even in the face of airline mishaps that sometimes ravage the industry. One can therefore say that the industry is crucial to the growth of the economy and national development. How well can Evision fulfill this role in Nigeria? That's the trust of the program. Welcome to Evision this week on Channels Television. I'm Bukola Jo Ukitumbi. The aviation industry is a catalyst for socio-economic development anywhere. It provides the fastest and safest means of transportation of persons and cargo within and between countries, thereby promoting commerce and industry, two of the major determinants of the gross domestic product GDP. Aviation is pivotal to growth of key economic sectors, certainly not limited to travel and tourism, agricultural production and distribution, rural development, trade and commerce, manufacturing, oil and other non-oil sectors. The economy of the UAE has been given a push in the past couple of years by government spending on infrastructure that has included not only airports but other civil projects and the aviation industry is expected to contribute 32% to Dubai's GDP by 2020. Africa's airline industry has indeed experienced heavy losses from time to time. Ethiopian Airlines has been one of Africa's star performers over the past decade. The airline's growth is not only mirroring the breakneck pace of economic development in Ethiopia, but actively contributing to it. So can aviation really drive economic growth? That's the thrust at this forum. And the chairman of Bay Courtney Aviation, Wale Babalaki, shares his thoughts. Aviation can be a catalyst for economic growth. It can. When we, I don't know how enemy to is standing. I thank the management for their commitment. We've run for 11 years, 10 years. We haven't had blackouts, and yet we have less than 5% of the revenue of the international airports. But we haven't had a blackout. The management has consistently ensured that this was delivered. If some people were identified and promoted, who we'll sort a lot of major problems, problems that only be solved. So, with just eight airlines operating in Nigeria and only 44 aircraft with full insurance coverage, the combined aircraft of the airlines is lesser than the fleet operated by South African Airways. 44 airplanes of all the operators in Nigeria. That is less than one airline. Can they become one airline, the 44 airplanes, without losing their identity? My answer is yes. The 44 airplanes can just be fly Nigeria. With a consolidator, roasting all their aircraft and the position for a flight. Fly Air Nigeria, one single airline, 44 airplanes. And then there's still less than the South African Airways. And then they feel robust schedule to begin to compete and reciprocate all the international operators on ground. And then the domestic sector tariff will be very close to a monopoly because right now they are eating their own throat. They are not charging economic tariff because of stupid competition. 
eight airlines Lagos Abuja. Because they have a lot of uncontrollable factors, the ones they can control is there. They can control tariff. But they cannot the way they are. So that's the poster. Is the poster. Monopoly is not good, competition is good. But of course, our airlines are not surviving. With domestic airlines in the country asking governments to review multiple taxation, refine aviation fuel in the country, and bridge airport infrastructure deficit, developing the sector will certainly facilitate an increase in economic benefits in Nigeria. According to the International Civil Aviation Organization, Fostering the development of an economically viable civil aviation system is a mix of airlines, airports and air navigation service providers all working together while facilitating access to funding for aviation infrastructure and other investment needs. For airlines to meaningfully contribute to the national economy, the time may be right for the National Assembly to urgently review the laws and policies regulating aviation. That's from our guest, the chairman of Airpeace Airlines, Mr. Allen Unyema. He was speaking at a recent forum in Lagos. A double taxation is killing the airlines. It is killing the airlines. Your 20,000 Naira ticket, at the end of the day, what comes to the airline is about 9,500 Naira. And this is from where you are expected to maintain your aircraft, pay the salaries of workers, uh, do all sorts of things. Poor airport infrastructure is one of our pain. No night flying facilities, 